and how is everyone doing today? My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and I am the executive producer of Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, where I have a segment entitled Authors Excerpt Sunday Podcast. And today, our special guest is Miss January Donovan. And she is a lady of many multitude, many facets, and she is an author and a motivational speaker, and I will let her tell you the rest. Hello, Ms. January. How are you doing today? Hello, Ms. Cherise. Thank you for having me. I'm so grateful to be here uh, oh. and have that opportunity to just sort of serve. Okay. All right. So, Ms. January, do you want to give us a little background about yourself? Yes, sure. I am the founder of The Woman's School, which is a what we call a formation school, which we train and develop women's both mindset and skill set so that they can choose their highest good. I've been doing it 25 years, been featured on Forbes, two-time best-selling author, built a multi-million dollar company with thousands of students across the globe, across 40 plus countries. I'm also a mom of eight, which is really the best accomplishment. In 18 years of marriage, um, we have, uh, the woman's school is um, an online school that all has a student, but also we have online coaches, what we call our wholeness coach, um, hundreds of coaches that are facilitating our programs on the online school, because where do you learn how to be a woman? And just because you're a woman doesn't mean you know how to be a woman, right? Yes. So it's, uh, our, our mission is to reclaim womanhood and modern society. Oh, okay. I, I like that. I like that. All right. All right. So, um, where are you from, Miss January? I'm um well, I'm originally from the Philippines. I moved here when I was eleven, but I am now living in Florida. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. All right. And um, how long have you been an author? Oh, great question. Uh, we launched the book last year mm -hmm. in January, actually. We launched so yeah, so it was a quick, fast writing and um launching because i had a speaking engagement with john maxwell mm -hmm. and we wanted to get it done right before it and so i i had a month to write the book oh, and, okay. and title release of, it um pardon me and the title of your book oh it's called redefine success for women okay. which is a blueprint to fulfilling life where i just give women um an option that tells them this is how you live a fulfilling life that's not based on achievement mm -hmm. but based on what fulfills you as a woman in every part of your life your self-image your mental emotional physical health your friendship your intimacy your contribution your career your environment mm -hmm. your wealth and your family so I give them a blueprint for every part of their life okay that is so wonderful <laughs> I love I love that you're so intricate in um, helping others uh, better themselves to see themselves at a higher level okay. and uh, that they do have value and they have strength and they and they do have something to contribute to society you know um, and so how did it feel to work with Mr. John Maxwell? Um, it was great I didn't work I, I spoke with him on the same stage as him so I oh. didn't um, you know, I necessarily work with him, but I share the stage with him, which I thought was a, a kind of a great honor. Mm -hmm. I, you know, he's written, I think 75 books or a hundred books and on, on yes. leadership. So yeah. it was, it was an honor. And then, um, Ed Milet was also on the same stage. Mm -hmm. And so I was very privileged also to the same, to share that same stage with him. So. Oh, okay. I, you sound like you're getting, you're doing a marvelous job. When you are in the presence of greatness, and uh, you know, and, and you're and you're doing such a a marvelous uh, uh, endeavor when it comes to uh, the women, you know, teaching them uh, new skill sets and things of such. And what would uh, what would be your your most challenging? Uh, when it was when it comes to your book, what was the most challenging part writing your book? To be sincerely honest, it's managing eight little children because that's what I have, 
while mm. also making sure I do great work. That's my most challenging thing is not writing the book. It's having the time and the discipline to keep a life of order and mm. not stress about it. Because what good is writing and finishing a book when you're stressed in the process? So that was probably challenging. I, you know, I wrote a whole entire book and I had a, I had our editor edit it. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. I threw the whole thing away. I took a whole month to write it. And, you know, it was a month to write. It's a pretty thick book, 26 pages. I don't know where my book is right now. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was so bad. And so... I scratched everything and then mm -hmm. I wrote everything from scratch and literally just, you know, so it was like 12 hour days or eight hour days or nine hour days. And so, um, but it was just grinding. Um, so I think it's the work of writing a book was for me, the time mm -hmm. um, and the discipline to be able to sort of commit to it. And there's also a time when you feel like, okay, when is this going to be done? Cause you're just kind of like in the weeds of it and you're outlining mm -hmm. it and you're going through it and, you just want to be done with it and you just have to keep going. Yes. Yeah. You do feel like that sometimes. Um, I'm also a writer. So my thing is, it's like, when do I find the time to do all these other activities and write a book yeah. and keep the house clean and do laundry and, you know, tend to my own personal needs as well. So, you know, and it's kind of like a, you know, you're juggling, you, you're kind of juggling all these duties. Um, can you give me a brief summary of what your, what your book is about? Okay. So I do three parts in the book. I teach women how to discover the dream of the season. So I teach women without a dream, you perish without a vision, you perish. So how do you discover the deepest desires of your heart? Identify mm -hmm. the difference between goal setting and dreaming. So I teach them how to dream. Second thing is that I teach them how to design a life of wholeness and what I outline to you. Who do you want to become? Design yourself as a woman. What does it look like to be mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, physically healthy, and spiritually healthy? So I give them the how. What kind of friendship should you have? What kind of a friend should you be? What are the different boundaries of friendship? And then I teach them how to develop an intimate relationship where you are uh, valuable, valuable, you're validated, you're respected, but also you respect your man and you create mm -hmm. an inspiring relationship. And then I walked them through the process of discovering a career that inspires you and not just settle. Mm -hmm. uh, and how do yes. you do that in context also of all the different duties you have as a woman, your home, your family, mm -hmm. um, then your in, uh, environment, how do you design a beautiful space that is rooted in order, it's mm -hmm. peaceful and joyful. And then I talk about the importance of wealth, yes. not simply as money, but time, treasure, and talent. And then how yes. to design a family life where you're raising responsible adults mm -hmm. in the future. So I give them that whole piece. And then the third piece is I teach women to develop their self-worth that's rooted in their subconscious minds. So I do a lot of neuroplasticity and neuroscience and mm -hmm. helping them understand that nothing changes a woman's value. Not yeah. Not, you know, your body, not what you can produce. Mm -hmm. You're valuable simply because you are. So uh, that's so much of the training that I did in the book. Um, and it also mirrors the woman's school class that I offer. Uh, it's sort of kind of a precursor. We have a course in the woman's school. Um, mm -hmm. That's the course that got us into 40 countries. It's the foundation in how to be a woman. Nobody's teaching it out there. It's the most comprehensive how to be a woman course. Okay. And so I kind of, we wrote that book as a precursor to the master class, what we call the the new woman master class is what we call that. So oh, that's okay. All right. Uh, I look like I'm gonna be purchasing a new book. I'm <laughs> be purchasing a new book. Well, thank so, you. And, and you're welcome. Uh and what do you hope readers will take away from your book? Number one, that a woman's worth is unconditional. Number, nothing changes it. Number two, that we all have a call mm -hmm. and a purpose in society to, to make society better. And if we don't train ourselves with a life of discipline, we cannot fulfill our call. And number three, we are we deserve a life of joy and peace and wholeness and abundance. Mm -hmm. We just have to earn it, aka work towards it. 
and that if we invest in ourselves and who we ought to become, yes. then we will achieve the life that we want and deserve. Okay. Um, can you share some interesting antidotes or experiences you had while writing your book? Hmm. Well, um, I made it, I've been, so I've been training women for almost two decades. And I said, keep saying, I need to write a book. I need to write a book, but I haven't had time because I'm building a business and I have eight children. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was that I went to a course that said, write the book on the weekend. I know, I knew this guy, I've been following him. Um, mm -hmm. And so in that weekend course, I mm -hmm. wrote the, you know, they said, when write, write a book. And so, and then they were selling a coaching Mm -hmm. kind of like help you write a book coaching accountability and so mm -hmm. i purchased it so mm -hmm. that i could commit to to accountability basically a coach for my accountability um because then i just know it was the best way for me to not make excuses for myself and that's what mm -hmm. happened i um had a coach and said okay when do you want to write this book I said i need to get out by december I said great you need to have your manuscript by october mm -hmm. and i was like october like that's a little soon it's already September and he says well if you want it by December then you have it so and then I wrote in October mm -hmm. read it and realized I needed to trash it wrote the whole thing again in November okay. and that's the book that I kept so oh, it's a yeah, lesson yeah. in not giving up <laughs> yes it is it is we have to be persistent in all the visions that God gives us yes and, and I think that's what I want to say is that we have a duty to fulfill what God is asking of us. And we're just messengers. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the book, you know, is a, it's a vehicle to reveal his message through us. Okay. Um. So uh, can you give, can you tell us about the publishing experience for you? Uh, seamless. I, I worked with a coach and, uh, you know, it, it, um, we have a full house editor in our in our schools, mm -hmm. uh, designers. So we did a lot of those things, and so uh, we just uh, worked. It, it was a one week process. So formatting was probably three weeks, and then um, we our goal was to reach bestseller status. Yes, and we did. So it was a it was a work, but we uh, we wanted to release a best selling book, and so that was really great. Um, actually, we have two best selling books. Okay, all right. So what is the title of the... Of the, uh, um, the, the first one is This Is Me, The Me I Choose To Be. And it's actually intended for children to rewire their brain and a script book. Oh, okay. All right. Well, congratulations on your two Thank you. best sellers. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, what advice would you give to aspiring authors? Um, commit to a deadline and then have hire a coach so that you don't give yourself excuses. Yes, yes, yes. Um, are there any upcoming projects that you want to tell us about? Um, yes, I'm going to write my third book. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Like, yeah, um, it, probably in the fall, starting the fall, I have currently I'm filming, refilming a master class that will be done in August. But mm -hmm. my goal is to write a book on reclaiming womanhood in modern society. Mm -hmm. and outlining what do we need to do to yeah. honor the value and dignity of women in modern society oh okay that sounds like it's going to be a really interesting read <laughs> uh, let me know when you publish that <laughs> i have to write it first <laughs> okay I, well, I, you know it's 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 amazing how god works our brain where he'll turn around and give us a title first and then we work out the rest. Yes, correct. You know, um, it's, and it's so true. Yes. He always gives us a, 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 a open door or a title or the vision for something. And then he gives us the details later of all that falling behind. Yeah. He plants that seed in our heart. Yes. Yes, he does. Good. Um, uh, how, how, can, how do you engage your readers an audience outside of writing? Uh, we have a whole school. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the Woman's School. And we have students, thousands of students across the globe. We have a, what we call a TWS community, a TWS school, S-K-O-O-L, 
-hmm. where our students come in, they ask me questions. I do live Q and A. We have free training on how to be a woman, how to discover your dreams, how to be resilient. I just, matter of fact, I just did 30 skills that I did training on, um, you know, how to manage critics, how to manage your mind, your emotion. And so we kind of bring that all together and we have a community so that women can have access to these trainings. Oh, uh, oh it sounds really interesting about your school. So, you know, um, I'll be checking that out some more mm -hmm. about your school. And um, it is very important that we that we help others in our journey on this world while we while we're here. Yeah. And I commend you on mm -hmm. everything that you do. And I greatly appreciate you coming in today to uh, speak with me. Oh, thank you. It's an honor. To, to have a, to tell the world about what you do and what you bring, what you have at your table. Yeah. You have thank at you. your table, you thank know, you. and uh, I greatly appreciate you, Miss January Donovan. And I want to say it has been an honor and a privilege to have you here on Arthur's Expert Sunday podcast. And I thank you so much. And is there anything else you want to share with my audience? No, oh, if you are, um, you want to join the woman's school, just go to the woman's school.com and join our school community. And if you want to be a woman's school coach, then also we train women how to build successful business as specifically teaching women how to be a woman in modern society. Okay, all right now, y'all done heard that, y'all. Y'all have heard the invitation, so you mm -hmm. have no excuse, okay? <laughs> so I want to thank you so much, uh, Miss January Donovan, and I wish you all the best with your business, with your leveling up uh, of helping others in the community and around the world, okay? Great, thank you. And I'm you're so welcome, great. you're welcome. And God bless you. And God bless you too. Mm -hmm. All right, and you have a blessed day.